Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here, your educator, mentor and friend. And here we are with the MCQ and mnemonic of the day, basically related to the daily targets that we have. So we have started with the new timetable, basically for revision for NEET PG and also for FMG. 21st November, that's today. And uh, in the daily target today, we had embryology as a part. So that's why today's question is related to embryology. Please try answering this question. So the question is a five day old female infant was born with a laryngeal defect. The greater cornu and the inferior part of the hyoid bone were absent. Failure of which of the following embryonic structures most likely led to these defects? Is it second pharyngeal arch, third, fourth or is it the mandibular prominence? So uh, pharyngeal apparatus uh, derivatives is an extremely, extremely important topic for the exam. You get many questions on that in almost all the exams. So make sure you master that topic in embryology, right? So basically a quick trick on the development of hyoid. So remember that in hyoid, we have the lesser horn, the lesser cornu, and we have the greater horn, that's the greater cornu and the body. So basically the trick here is remember S, S and S. What is the S, N and S trick? So the small cornu, the smaller horn, that is the lesser cornu, and the superior part of the body basically develop from the second arch. So if I have to put in this one, so basically the lesser horn, the small cornu and the superior part of body. So this part of the hyoid, if you see, which is present superiorly, this is basically the second arch. Below that, the inferior part basically and the greater cornu, which is present here down, the inferior part, this comes from the third arch okay this comes from the third arch so basically if the question you get is hyoid develops from which pharyngeal arches it is the second and the third arch remember it is the arch not the pouch not the cleft the skeletal components muscles they come from the arch so here in the question it is the greater cornu and the inferior part of hyoid bone are absent so right if we remember from the hyoid wala diagram basically so the greater cornu and the inferior half, this part is basically the third pharyngeal arch. If it was the lesser cornu and the superior part of body, then it would have been the second pharyngeal arch. So that's why the answer here basically is third pharyngeal arch. Remember S, S and S basically for hyoid and inferior below the second comes the number three. So upper part second, lower part third. Okay. So that was the quick trick for the day. I hope you have liked and enjoyed it. If yes, please do not forget to leave a like and do share it with your friends as well if you think they would benefit out of this. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Take care and keep studying, keep revising and keep winning. Thank you.